Joma Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now, Tyson Fury news. Our heavyweight champion, WBC style, but got to be the number one heavyweight after his destruction of long-reigning WBC heavyweight champion Deontay Wilder. Since then, you know, just the number one dude, Tyson Fury. There's only one Tyson Fury. You know what I mean? So Tyson Fury, you know, is, you know, in the internet, basically, on one of, one of these, I don't know, platforms. But he's training three, four times a day, he says, you know, with his wife, having a lot of fun. And, you know, doing those things, which is good for him, he says, because, you know, you know, probably through this pandemic and everything, he would probably fall into d- depression, get fat again. So he's keeping himself fit, keeping his mind right, staying positive, right? Don't want to go get into dep- depression, making sure helping others to not get into depression. Those are all positive things. And it's good to see him like that. You know what I mean? Because we, we've seen Tyson Fury in, other, in a darker place. We know this guy can lose it. You know how it is when I talk about Tyson Fury. I got one word for Fury over the years, and it's whatever. Because most of the time, he's been talking about something that's not got nothing to do with boxing. He's not by himself. There's other boxers that get the whatever, and that would be Adrian Broner and Amir Khan. You know, people who seem to want to be in the middle all the time, no matter what. You know, going to do something crazy just so somebody's talking about them, good or bad. So, you know, Tyson Fury is that way. You know, a little bit unstable. And um, so, but right now, Tyson Fury is like, said, I'm fit and I'm ready to bash the Deontay Wilder's face in again. So he's going to be ready. Deontay Wilder's face is getting bashed in again, right? So that's cool. That's cool. One thing I have an issue with is where the hell is Martin Carefoot, right? Now, I know people don't want to talk about it. I know people don't want to talk about it, but this is two months ago, and we had a guy that came out and said, hey, listen, I did not give Tyson Fury no damn wild boar, right? The UKD and all of them, United Kingdom Anti- Anti-Doping Agency, is supposed to reinvestigate when Tyson Fury was doped. It was 2015, the Nandrolone thing, and he said it was wild boar, but this guy has come out, 70-year-old man, and said that it's not. That's been two months ago. They were, uh, UKAD was supposed to reopen the investigations. Now, I don't know how long it takes to investigate a 70-year-old dude who said he ain't got no wild boys, no wild boar on his uh, farm, right? You know, back back then, they took some pictures of wild boar, but that was not on his farm. There's a lot of things like that. So, you know, when I'm looking at that, <clears throat> you're thinking about, well, Tyson Fury was basically suspended for doping anyway. He had two two years, which means he's a dope cheat. Now he's not by himself in boxing. All the guys we talk about are dope cheat, are dope cheats, right? There's only like three that aren't that are up there. That's Deontay Wilder, like it or not. Joseph Parker, like it or not. Anthony Joshua, like it or not. There's only a little question mark by Anthony Joshua, a little bit, because he's it's been insinuated. Well, basically, Dillian White and Jarrell Miller tell you, hey, he's been doped. Therapeutic use exemptions, them TUEs, right? Because, you know, people know that's a whole different story. They say, hey, that's what he's doing. Pick it up with 300 pound Jarrell Miller and crazy ass Dillian White. They'll tell you in a heartbeat they think Josh was juicy, but he has not been caught. But there's still people who hasn't been caught in boxing, like Manny Pacquiao, who you can still say probably has. Hasn't been caught though, right? But probably has, you know, and the two instances where, you know, you really think so would be. Well, damn, Manny Pacquiao, you didn't fight that uh, your boy uh, Floyd Mayweather from when, back in 2009 when he was a $40 million deal. 50%, $40 million on the table, and he just didn't want to take a dope test. That would lead you to believe that he's doped. Especially, you know, somebody say, I don't really want needles, but got tattoos. That would normally make people think, damn, man, it's dope. But that didn't. People got mad at Floyd Mayweather for asking. But another case... Right, his last fight, the one that we're all hyped about, Manny Pacquiao was back because he beat Keith Thurman. Well, in that fight, he didn't want to take drug testing either. Now, Keith Thurman was, you know, people be thinking, well, I'm gonna beat him anyway. Let him, I don't care what he take. That's what Keith Thurman was saying. I don't care what he take. I'm gonna get him. But those are, you know, hey, wait a minute. We're in the age everybody's taking drug tests for fighting, and Pacquiao doesn't against Thurman, and we don't even care. So it brings you to Tyson Fury. 
If you don't use your drug cheat, right? And you've also tampered with your gloves. For anybody who thinks that's not true, go look at the Christian Hammer fight. Fight had to be stopped. Right now we have the instance where it was against Deontay Wilder and people hate him so much and are so happy about the win over Deontay Wilder that it will not, I repeat, it will not be addressed. Not even, nobody even is thinking about it, right? Which is really astounding because, you know, Deontay Wilder messed around and got hurt a little bit on his ear and have a little crack in that cranium and we have a glove issue and nobody, somebody going to get sued. That's what's going to probably happen. I'm just, I'm just saying. Normally, normally everyone, everyone should be caring. Hey, man, your gloves ain't right. You weigh 50 pounds heavier than a dude. You're hitting on his head. But no one is. And it's a person who has done these things before. It's not like out of the blue. Right. And when you talk about it, you have issues. You know, people upset. But you got to remember this. You know, if he was doping and lied about it. Right. That he was up for eight years be suspended for boxing from eight years. It goes from possibly being suspended for eight years to we ain't talking about it no more at all. That's weird to me. We know what time it is. It's weird. It's just very weird. But we know what time it is with, with this YouTube and with how people uh, think or whatever, right? You got one of my favorite uploaders when you're talking about boxing for sure. His, his uh, whole site has been hacked. You see what I'm saying? People know about that. Not many people are talking about that. That's huge. One of the uh, main guys in the boxing thing. One of the pioneers of it. You know, a whole lot of subscribers. A lot of people watch it. And he talks about issues with, with black fighters for sure. Right? The double standards in boxing and things like that that are happening. But hey, when he's talking about what, can, what happens to black people, it's an American pastime to not give a damn what's happening to black people. It's American pastime. <laughs> you know, nobody gives a damn. You know, you shoot them or whatever. Then if they're kneeling to say, hey, listen, don't do that. That's not good with our people. What happens? People are upset. White American have a problem. Then they're coming out with guns, right? And, and you know, they're out there striking. but got guns on them, strapped. You know, let one brother be strapped in the neighborhood. The army comes. So, you know, those are the double standards. And when people talk about them, it is what it is. I, you don't have to mention that in the climate that we have in America. You do not have to mention that. It's just what it is. It's in your face. Ain't nobody like, you know, ain't nobody surprised by hearing that from me. Right. But the YouTube thing, it, it is what it is. People wonder, like, you know, what's up with the dude? Man, the dude won't, you know, you know, what's, what's up with his camera? There's a camera. You know, why he ain't doing this and doing that like others? Here's a green screen, still in the package. You know what I'm saying? Could do it. But when I first started, and I'm telling you again, when I first started, I did something about my 10th video or 20th, only had a few views about British uh, football, you know, the child molestation. Under over 500 cases of child molestation. It's about three years ago, right? And I'm trying to... Let the people know, hey, you know, 500 cases means everybody is involved in British football from the lowest league to the Premier League. Now, I was talking about that and I was docked half of my views at the time. So for me, that was like, I don't want to be really affiliated. I'm not really going to get in a situation where I'm going to be dependent on what YouTube is up to. Because that's that sorority I don't want to be a part of. Right. Just simple as that. That was like, OK, well, somebody who, who and who would not want somebody to enlighten people about a problem of that magnitude about young men being sodomized at that early in their lives? Five hundred cases. And no one wants to. You know, that was not happy that someone's talking about that. That let me know who I'm dealing with. So from there, that's it. You know, I'm not going to I'm not going to be in a situation where I'm going to be censored. And, and it can't talk about stuff like that. That's a huge problem. 500 cases of child molestation in one football league from Premier down there, down to the bottom leagues. That's not worthy of someone talking about it. And, and in the positive light, we're not swearing here. But I wonder what word it was that triggered them to dock me half of my views at the time. Didn't even ask. They never told me what. But I ain't asking. Bottom line is that let me know what we're dealing with. Right? 
If it's not, you know, if you're against the grain and if that's if the grain is saying that's OK or don't mention that, then what the hell do I want to be affiliated for? You understand? So that's what that happened. And so therefore, like, oh, well, you know, I ain't stepping up my game. I turn on my damn thing and start talking. Ain't going to be no editing. Ain't going to be no nothing going down. Right. <laughs> Just whatever. What's going to go down is truth. And then you get this boxing thing. It's just basically, hey, oh, let's talk about a little bit about boxing. But then you get stuck because there's so much injustice and so much things going wrong, just false in boxing. That if you care about any truth, injustice, that you get stuck on that. And that's what basically what happens. Actually, I love all sports. Boxing not even my favorite one. But when something's unjust, you can only address it if you have um, some type of integrity. So that's what it is. So when we come to Tyson Fury, you know what I'm saying? And the Deontay Wilder thing. Yes, I want the trilogy to happen. Yes, I want uh, Tyson Fury to be in the best form, right? And get, keep getting these accolades. Because if Deontay Wilder, and it's not, it's just if, but if Deontay Wilder comes in there and they fight fair, because it wasn't, right? But if they fight fair and Deontay Wilder wins, then there's greatness. And you can't say anything about it. Now, when you look at Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao, People will reach, right? All that time, Pacquiao could beat Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather beat him easily, and he didn't get really the credit for it because it was so easy. It was called boring, right? And for those that were calling that boring, I always say to them, when you were watching that fight and you were in round four and round six where Pacquiao hit him a time or two, were you bored at that time? Or was your heart pumping and you was having a good-ass time? Why it got boring is because of sour grapes and your boy got beat easily, outclassed. And that made it boring. And not only did most people, you know, that are against black fighters not like it, even black people were like, yeah, that was boring. When you saw a boxing ma masterpiece. So we don't know what's going to happen with Fury and, and Deontay Wilder, but that's my point about Deontay Wilder only fighting Tyson Fury. There's nothing else to do. Only him, because he's the baddest one. And he's going to remain the baddest one, no matter what happens in that fight. Be very interesting. So Tyson Fury comes out and says, hey, I'm going to bash his face in, because he's, he's fit. That, to me, is great news. What about you? Don't sports talk worldwide. And I'm about to hear y'all.